Over the last 19 years, working with Medicare beneficiaries, we have seen many occasions in which a beneficiary living on a fixed income must choose between purchasing an expensive medication and meeting their other fundamental needs like rent and groceries. Well, in 2022, Congress passed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. And part of this legislation is aimed at improving Medicare by expanding benefits and lowering potential out-of-pocket spending on Part D medications. The newest part of this legislation is the Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, which is scheduled to begin in 2025. This payment plan will help people with high-cost drugs, especially those who often have heavy drug spending early in the year, when many Part D enrollees have a deductible to meet before their Part D plan begins paying for prescriptions. Under the new Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, both Part D plans and Medicare Advantage plans with built-in Part D coverage must offer their enrollees the option to pay out-of-pocket prescription drug costs in the form of capped monthly installment payments instead of all at once at the pharmacy. The idea here is to improve access to and affordability of prescription drugs for people with Medicare Part D, and the program will be available to all beneficiaries with a Part D prescription drug plan. So how will it work? Well, we don't have all the details just yet, but from what we know right now, you will be able to enroll in the payment plan once you choose your Part D coverage for 2025. Once you are enrolled in a Part D plan, you will be able to contact your plan sponsor and complete the prescription payment plan election process, which must be processed within 24 hours to prevent drug dispensing delays. CMS will be developing tools to help you decide whether the program is right for you, since not every beneficiary takes expensive medications. Once you have opted into the Medicare prescription payment plan, you will not be required to pay a copay for your covered drugs at the pharmacy. Instead, your prescription drug plan or Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan carrier will pay on your behalf when you receive your prescription and will then bill you monthly for any cost sharing that you owe for your covered prescriptions. The program must also include all medications on the formulary of your plan. Part D plans cannot exclude any covered drugs from being a part of the payment plan. And you can also opt out of the plan at any time. Let's say that you opt in and you realize that it's just not working for you. You can opt out of the program by paying off the remaining balance or continuing to pay the monthly balance. You would then revert to paying any new out-of-pocket costs while you're at the pharmacy picking up your medications. An important note is that the Medicare prescription payment plan is not a program to help reduce the amount of money you will pay out of pocket during the year. The IRA legislation is already addressing that by lowering your total out of pocket on Part D meds to 2000 beginning in 2025. The Medicare prescription payment plan just gives you some options for how and when you will pay your share of the medications. If you do decide to opt into the program, it will be important that you keep up your monthly payments to your carrier. They can remove you from the payment plan for missed payments, and you will be responsible for the full copay or coinsurance price at the pharmacy. Don't forget that some beneficiaries with low incomes can also get help with lowering out-of-pocket costs through Part D's extra help program. The IRA legislation expanded eligibility for this program, and the federal government estimates that there are many many people, as many as 3 million people who are eligible for this program, but not yet enrolled. We will include a link with more details on how to see if you qualify in the description below this video. The payment plan is all very new and we will see more updated guidelines throughout the year. What questions do you have about this new payment program? Leave them in the comments and we will do our best to help you with those answers. If you are a Boomer Benefits client, be sure to look out for information from us later this year on how to opt into the Medicare prescription payment plan. And if you're not a client, we can help you shop your plans during the annual election period from October 15th to December 7th.